Hello, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and you can tell from my face I am vexed. I am so disgusted or upset, I don't even know what word to use. You know, they're dubbing this baby, a day old baby, Moses. At least Moses was cared for for three months and placed in a clean basket beneath the bushes. This baby not even one day old, was put in a place where you defecate, a latrine. That's where the parents put the baby. I don't even know if it would have been, well, you can't say at least the baby's alive. But if you don't want the baby that bad, why wouldn't you put it on a doorstep or take it to the hospital and leave it somewhere? Can you put, dump it in a latrine? They must have mental issues or something. The mother is in hospital. I don't know where the father is, but I'm going to show you a video and um, I'll talk about it later. How can anybody do that? That's how they knew the baby was there. They was going to go toilet, you know, on top of it. And the baby's crying. Honestly, it makes me feel so upset. Anyway, um, I saw it in the Jamaican Weekly Gleaner. I didn't have that video yet. But the baby is dubbed Moses, who was found in a pit latrine in Cox P. St. Mary last week and remains at St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital under med medical care. But it only came out in the newspaper today. Um, with the case being monitored by the Child Development Agency, CDA. The fact that the baby was saved from danger is the only similarity to Moses, because Moses, even Moses, was three months old, I put this, when he was wrapped by jo Jochebed, his Hebrew mother, and put in a clean basket and placed by the rushes. His mother also watched him constantly to see that he was safe. When Pharaoh's daughter found him and adopted him and raised him as an Egyptian, she knew he was safe and she left. She didn't need to supervise him anymore. But this woman, she just dumps him in a toilet? Why did you bother having him or her? I don't know what the gender of the baby is, but it doesn't really matter. However, the baby that they found yesterday, hold on, last week. Oh, well, it lasted... So it lived for a week? It's beyond me. It's beyond me. However, this baby that they found yesterday was newborn and was obviously meant to live. Who knows? She might grow up to be a queen or some other person who can do good for humanity. 
after being rescued from the lowest place possible. That's just my two pence worth. The CDA Regional Director North East Carlin Stewart told the Gleaner on Wednesday that the agency has an interest in the case and that the priority at this time is the child's health and wellness. We're just focusing right now on the child's medical issues. The child is hospitalised and is being treated and any other social intervention is going to come after we get the clearance from the hospital that the child is stable, Stuart disclosed. Maybe the child was all eating shit for all we know. How long do we know that it was in the latrine? Stuart and the CDA investigators had been on the ground and had already spoken to both parents involved in the case. So she's not even a single mother. So, you know, like when I think about my mum, you know, my mother left Jamaica because she felt disgraced. She was in the church. She got pregnant by my father. She didn't know my father was married. He lied to her and all that kind of stuff. She could have aborted me, but she came over to England she won, you know. She didn't know who she was meeting. She didn't know where she was going. But she carried me and she looked after me for as long as she could. You know what I mean? And rather than face the disgrace in Jamaica, which she would have felt disgrace, and she didn't want to disappoint her mother and her father. But my point being, I mean, is it because she felt ashamed that she had the baby? But according to this lady, she knew she was pregnant. So I don't understand why you would put a baby in a bloody toilet. Anyway, um, this is making me emotional. Right now, we really are just, this is what um, Stuart um, is saying. Right now, we really are just focusing on the child's wellness. And then after that, we will look at other interventions that might be necessary, she said. The baby was retrieved from an outdoor toilet in the community last Thursday by residents after being dumped allegedly by his mother shortly after the birth the previous day. Residents have tagged him the name Moses, likening him to the larger than life biblical figure who was rescued from the River Nile. I guess that's the only thing he's got in common, that he was rescued, so I'm assuming is a boy. The mother remains at the same hospital, but does not have possession of the child. In the meantime, St Mary Police are continuing their investigations into the matter, according to Superintendent Bobbitt Morgan Simpson, commander for the parish. That's all for now.